A Dark Night for Splatter. The island of Sodor has many beautiful places. There are fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. The engines love passing through the beautiful landscape. There is one place, however, that the engines all avoid. The smelters. The air seemed to grow cold as the sounds of snoring machines whirred all around. Worst of all, the line side was littered with, with rows of rusted cars, trucks, and engines. The smelters were run by two menacing diesel engines, Splatter and Dodge. They take great pleasure in their work and never miss a chance to taunt the engines. Don't get too close to the cat is too itch, they would say they would say, or they might just end up cutting you up on sight. The engines knew that, that Sir Tom Hat would never scrap them, but all the same, Splatter and Dodge's teasing chilled them to the boiler. One cold night, the diesels were idling outside the smelter shed. They had finished their work, and were ready to return back to their shed. A low mist hung over the yard, and the echoes of the smelter's machines were Danced in the air. Another good day's worth behind us, eh? Ooze dodged. Couldn't be better, said Splatter. Their conversation was interrupted by an unfamiliar horn. Through the mist, Class 40 appeared, a line of trucks grown behind him. Hello, said Splatter. What can we do for you to what can we do for you? Evening said Class 40. Special delivery for you. They were clearing out an old mine on the mainland, said Class 40. He motioned to the flatbed behind him. Splatter and Dodge could make out a shape of an old, rusty steam engine. Its cab and bunker had deteriorated so much they could see its corrupting controls and firebox doors. They found it tangled in the weeds. Must have been forgotten when the mine closed. Scrap yards on the other railway are at capacity, so I was told to bring it here on my goods delivery tonight. Well, well, said Dodge. We'll take good care of it, won't we? Splatter, move that old rust bucket to the shed. I'll show our friend here to the fuel pump. Splatter didn't like being bossed around, but he complied as Dodge and Class 40 rolled away. He grumpily dragged the heavy flatbed into the glow of the smelter shed. Stupid Dodge, he said. He could have brought this rubbish in here himself. As he rolled along, the old steam engine creaked and groaned. It almost sounded like laughter. Splatter pulled it into place, then rolled alongside. Who's got the last laugh now, he said. Useless old kettle. Is that what you really think of me? For the first time, Splatter. Splatter saw the front of the old engine. Its face was smudged and dirty, and its eyes were weary. I'm far from useless, wheezed the engine. Pa, said Splatter. Another steamer in denial. Eh, you're past it. Diesel's all the way forward. There's no use for you now. And what happens to you when you become outdated? Splatters spluttered. What? Never gonna happen. I used to be just like you, said the engine. I was delivered to the old mine, with everyone now telling me how powerful I was. The engine sighed. Look at me now. I was invincible, and then the diesels came. I had a taste of my own medicine. She stared coldly at Splatter. And what will happen to you when a more efficient engine is built? Th that will never happen, said Splatter. I had all you want, said the engine. Said the engine. But I stand before you as proof of it. Time will go on. And you will be replaced. Splatter was... Splatter sighed. He continued to sneer as he rolled out the smelter's shed. Dodge was waiting for him. Class 40 had gone, and the mist was beginning to lift. 
Who are you talking to in there? Said, said Dodge. Stupid old steamer. He'll, he was, she was telling me that we'd be out a date one day. Well, how did you talk with it? Splatter looked back. As the doors of the smelter shed began to close, he saw no face on the engine, only an old rusted smoke box door. Splatter was in disbelief. The shed door shut with an unsettling thud. All that exhaust is gone to you, Dodge cackled. Oh, shut up, said Splatter, and rolled off to their shed without another word. Splatter is a different engine now. While still menacing, he no longer taunts the steam engines with threats of scrap. He is silent whenever he goes into the smelter's shed, for he is thinking of that spectral old engine. I think its words will follow Splatter for a long time. Don't you?